let's try to factor now trinomials. Here in factoring trinomials, dito natin gagamitin yung drill natin before about sum and then yung product. For example, kapag pinag-add mo yung dalawang number is 9 and then ang product din ng dalawang number ay 20. So the answer for that is 4 and 5 because 4 plus 5 is 9 and 4 times 5 is 20. So the first step in factoring trinomial is to create a template. So create muna kayo ng template. So dalawang quantity. So that will be our template. Ngayon, after making a template, so ilagay muna natin yung variable. So which is yung x. So we have x and then x. So, yan po yung pinaka-template natin. So, whatever the variable is, for example, kung ang variable mo ay y squared and then plus 8y plus 15, so y ang ilalagay mo pareho. Now, this is the part na kung saan mo i-apply yung natutunan mo about the drill. So, itong second term, ito yung sum. So, bali yung 8 yung sum and then yung 15 bali yung product. Ngayon, itatanong ko ulit yung, yung same question. Kapag ano yung dalawang numbers na kapag pinag-add mo ay 8, and at the same time, kapag pinag-multiply mo ay 15. So, you pause first the video and then after that, you go back. Okay. So, the answer here is 3 and 5. Or pwede rin mong 5 and 3. So, they are both positive. Ngayon, yung dalawang number na yun, yun yung i-input mo dito dun sa natitirang part. So, we have here positive 3 and positive 5. Pwede rin naman magkabaliktad. X plus 5 and then X plus 3. So, wala naman bearing yun. And you're done factoring. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Next one is N squared minus 7N minus 30. First step, create a template so we have n n after that apply na natin yung sa drill so ang sum niya ay negative 7 and then ang product niya ay negative 30 so the answer here is minus 3 plus or rather the other way around, it's plus 3 minus 10. So, dahil kapag pinag-add mo yan, negative 10 plus 3, so that will be negative 7, negative 10 times 3, so that will be negative 30. So, hindi po sila pwede magkabaliktad, ha? I mean, hindi pwedeng n minus 3 and then n plus 10. Ito po ay mali. Mali po yan. Pero kung ang sagot nyo ay pinagbaliktad nyo in a way na n minus 10, n plus 3, so tama din yan. Walang problema. Pinagpalit nyo lang. So that's how you do it. So that's how you factor trinomials. How about factoring 2x squared plus 11x plus 14? Ito ay trinomial din but this is different from our first two examples. Ang pinagkaiba niya, in quadratic term, we have a numerical coefficient greater than 1. So kapag meron tayong numerical coefficient greater than 1 in the quadratic term, the process on how to factor the trinomial is different from our first two examples. So ito yung medyo matrabaho sa lahat. But let's try to uh, make it easier. So, ano ang unang gagawin dito? Same thing pa rin. We are going to create the template. But this time, we're going to have a trial and error. Hindi na rin natin pwedeng gamitin dito yung ito yung sum and then yung product. So, hindi na po natin pwedeng gamitin yun. Itong sum and product, so hindi na natin siya pwedeng gamitin. Hindi na siya applicable because of our um, numerical coefficient for the quadratic term. Kasi yung value ay maapektuhan because of this. 
Ngayon, ano ang gagawin natin? Ang gagawin natin, we are going to factor 2x squared and 14. Lahat ng factor ilalagay natin. Hanggang sa makuha natin yung tamang uh, factor when we do the FOIL method. So, ano yung ibig kong sabihin? So, trial and error kasi ito eh. So, ilagay natin dito yung mga possible na factors. And then, after nun, dapat tumugma siya doon sa middle term. For example, we have... Ano ba ang factor ng 2x squared? So, ang factor ng 2x squared ay 2x and then x. So, hindi tayo pwede mag-factor ng 2x squared at saka 1. So, dapat parehong may variable um, in both binomials dito sa dalawa. And then, ano ang factor ng 14? So, we can have 14 and 1 and then 7 and 2. But I think yung 14 and 1 is medyo uh, malayo siya. So, let's try to have 2 and 7. Ngayon, kapag ginawa natin yung FOIL method, of course, mapuproduce natin dito yung 2x squared at saka yung 2 times 7 na 14. So, tama yan. Ang problema natin ay itong middle term. So, itong middle term na to ay mapuproduce natin pag pinagsama natin, ito pag pinagmultiply natin yan, yung inner, at pag pinagmultiply natin yung outer. So, 2 times x ay 2x and then 2x times 7 is 14 or 14x then plus 14. Ngayon, kapag pinagsama natin yung 2x at saka 14x, makakaproduce tayo ng 16x and which is mali. So, pag nilagay natin dyan, 2x squared plus 16x plus 14. So, mali yan. Tama yung dalawang dulo but the middle term is wrong. Therefore, mali yung 2x plus 2 times x plus 7. So, hindi ito yung factor. Kaya kanina sabi ko, this is a trial and error procedure. So, let's try to make another pattern. For example, 2x plus 2 and then x plus 7. So, hindi na siya pwede. Ano pa kaya ang pwede? So, pwede natin pagpalitin yung 2 at saka 7. So, let's have 2x plus 7. Magkaiba na po yan. x plus 2. So, nagkaiba na kasi yung, mag, yung mga magka-partner. So, pag pinag-multiply mo yan, using the FOIL method, so, iba na yung kakalabasan yan. So, ito, mali na to. We have 2x times x is 2x squared. And of course, 2x times x is, or rather, 2x times 2 is 4x. 7 times x plus 7x. So, I think ito na yung tamang sagot. And then, 7 times 2 is 14. Ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, pag pinag-add natin to, so, we will produce 11x. And, that is the correct answer. So, pareho na sila. So, therefore, kung pareho na sila, ito na yung ating factor. So, ang final factor natin for that is 2x plus 7 multiplied by x plus 2. So, yan po ang tamang sagot. Ibig sabihin, kapag tayo ay nag-factor ng trinomial, we're in yung numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term is greater than 1. So, gagawin natin itong sinasabi nating trial and error.